Sure. Well, eating directly from the farmer has been important to me for a while. Um, I don't know if you know my story, but my son, when he was a preschooler, was allergic to the world, doctors told me, which meant grass, dust, every kind of pollen, every kind of animal, and doctors kept giving him stronger and stronger medications, and none of them were working. So I was lucky. I started doing research about why his um, immune system might be so compromised, and I found out that raw milk could be a cure for compromised immune systems and allergies, and I gave him raw milk. He was completely cured. So that started the whole raw milk and eating unprocessed foods. That's what started my path. And then about three years ago, I found out that people around the country that were eating the way I am from, um, you know, in food buying clubs and, um, and buying directly from their farmer and the farms themselves were getting shut down in government raids. And that sparked some anger, which set me on the path of making the movie. And so what you did is, is obviously something that's like really amazing is you made a, a, a documentary film about, about this, correct? Yes, it's called Farmageddon, the Unseen War on American Family Farms. I did have a chance to take a look at the um, preview for it um, in the clip, and I just thought it was very interesting. Um, I wanted to ask you, as, um, as a first-time filmmaker, like how, did you, like how did you decide that that was the way to go? Obviously, you know, your background is organic foods and stuff, not filmmaking. So how did you sort of jump into that unknown territory, and where did you learn the technical aspects, and, and how did that all yeah, um, yeah, it wasn't by choice. I actually kept trying to get somebody else to cover this topic. I tried to get mainstream media to cover it. I tried to get other documentaries to make a documentary about this topic. I definitely thought that making a documentary and showing people exactly what was happening on these farms and letting them meet the families was definitely the way to go, but I didn't want to do it myself. But um, one of the one of the people that I approached to do it was a documentary maker for CNN, and he called and asked me to go out to lunch, and I thought he was going to tell me that he was going to make the documentary, and instead he said, if you need this to be done, you have to do it yourself. And he just kind of gave me some direction of how to do it, start my own company, and a week later I had Kristen Marie Productions and was on my way. Okay. So it was sort of a, a learn-as-you-go process. Exactly. Every step along the way, and even now as I'm in distribution and trying to publicize this and really trying to make a difference, I, I listen to every piece of advice I can get. Everybody, I listen to everybody, um, and I, I basically have been lucky every step along the way to have experts walk into my life at the right time that I needed, such as my camera crew and my editor and distribution help, etc. Surrounding yourself with people that really knew, knew about the filmmaking process made a big difference for you. Exactly, yes. That's great. Um, and you talk about food freedom. Can you explain what that is and what that means to you? I mean, for me, it's our ability to eat, consume the foods of our choice and purchase from the producers of our choice. So, so right now, um, you know, a lot of my movie is about the government condoning, um, you know, subs, you know, the, the foods that are subsidized, which a lot of it is junk food. So I am allowed to go to McDonald's if I want to. I can feed my kids fast food three times a day if I want to. I'm allowed to smoke. I'm allowed to drink. Um, and I think that I should be allowed to drink raw milk if I want to drink raw milk. And um, I think that I should be able to, if I, if I meet a farmer and I think that he is producing food in a way that I want it to be produced, which is grass-fed, unsprayed vegetables, um, and raw milk right from, the, from, right from grass-fed cows, I believe that I should have the freedom to do that. And, um, and I feel the government's trying to take this freedom away from me. Um, and you've also got um, some short animated films. I just watched one of them, The, the Me Tricks. Um, and, uh, and I think that was a really clever way to kind of relate it to something that people know and really depict the difference between sort of the blue pill fantasy world that we live in and then the, the red pill realities. Um, and, and, you know, I know that a lot of people, I think, want to get more involved in, in making a difference. And so how can any ordinary citizen, um, 
do things to sort of put pressure on the policymakers? Are there are are there petitions that exist? Are there congressmen and women that we can get in touch with? And if so, like how do we do that? Like how does the normal person get out there and and become an activist in this if they want to? Yeah. Um, first of all, I didn't produce the Me Trek, so that was produced by friends of mine, um, Sustainable Table. And, um, and they have, that's number one, they have an Eat Well Guide, um, and that is on their website. And so you can go there and, number one, spend your dollars um, at local farmer, you know, with local farmers. And they have, if you punch in your zip code, and this is on my website, and it's also on Sustainable Table's website, you can find out where to get um, you know, local food, organic food all over the country. So that's number one is spend your dollars, you know, w with your local farmer. Join a CSA. Um, as far as Congress people are concerned, um, Representative um, Shelley Pingree and Representative Ron Paul in, in Congress have both um, signed on to a bill to allow for the sale of raw milk to cross over state lines. Um, so if you can call your representative and ask them to help help that bill. In, and in the Senate, S Senator Rand Paul has introduced the same bill. Um, Shelley Pingree has also introduced language into the farm bill that will allow us to buy from our local farmer. And, um, and so any way that you can ask your representative to support her in those efforts would be great. She has, um, it's the farm, I think it's called the farm food bill. Um, so those are just a number of ways, and there's a lot of other ways on my website, farmageddonmovie.com, um, under what, what you can do, um, that you can, that there's a whole list of things you can give your money to, play, um, places you can eat, and, and politician, uh, political policies that you can support in order to uh, support this cause. A resource that, that, that people can go to and get that kind of information, whether they want to know about eating in, in you know, restaurants that source locally, or you know, really becoming an activist and writing letters and, and campaigning and that sort of thing. Exactly. Great. That's really great. Um, let me see what we have next. The um, there's you know there's been such a huge loss of of small farms since the 1950s and um, there's you know there's been a lot of people like Willie Nelson and Farm Aid and and um, other supporters. Are there are there other um, are there any other kinds of big um, big events or big name celebrities that are really involved in this? Do, is there another Farm Aid concert in the works? Is there anything that you know of where there's some sort of um, bigger backing going on for this cause? I wish there was. We're working on that right now. We're trying to get some bigger backing to to help the small farmers. Farm Aid is a great organization, and but we do need more. There, um, there's the Farm to Consumer Legal Defense Fund is a fantastic organization. They have um, they've um, defended the farmers that have been raided for free. Um, and there's Farm and Farm and Food um, Farm and Ranch Freedom Alliance and um, Farm Food Freedom Coalition, um, just to name a few that are that are fighting hard for this cause. And and we're all I think that I know that at least Farm Food Freedom Coalition we're trying to get another kind of concert going to raise big money and get celebrities involved. But right now we're just hopeful. It's just in the works. Okay. Um, so talking about this, the raw milk discovery and everything, I think that that's a big thing is, is um, for mothers and, and, you know, family members that are, that are interested in knowing, you know, what they can do to help their families and stuff like that. Um, are there, I mean, I think you've mentioned probably a lot of the organizations um, that are available to, to reach out to and get involved with. Um, are there other kinds of like advocates like within the medical community and stuff? Because you're talking about things like helping with allergies and illness and stuff like that. Yeah, as far as nutrition is concerned, the Weston Price Foundation, um, that's really the organization that taught me about um, you know how to feed my children the best way possible. So that's that website is the West, westonaprice.org, and that taught me about raw milk, unprocessed foods, grass-fed meats, fermented vegetables, fermented beverages. Um, so um, and it's just chock full of nutrition nutritional information. I'm also a big fan of Dr. Mercola, mercola.com, and he has a lot of the same thing, information about milk. And um, and nutrition, diet, exercise. So those are probably my my, my top two favorites. 
Great. I think that that's really helpful for people that want to know, like, how can I help my kids if they're having those same kinds of issues and, and where to go to get that kind of information. So, um, you know, I've spoken to, I've, I spoke to um, Liz the other day, uh, right to again, Linda this morning. And so I've gotten to a lot of really great information and hopefully, hopefully all of this will be able to really share with people so they can get a better access to what, what they can do. And I think that that's what I've sort of been asking across the board is just really, you know, if somebody wants to make a difference in this, what are the steps that they take and what can they do to really help make a change in this situation? Yeah, I'm hoping that we can make a change. <laughs> it's a lot of work and some days it seems like an uphill battle, but if we can just reach the, reach the numbers and we can create the consumer demand for buying directly from the farmer, then hopefully we can all make a difference. And that's, that's something that we can all do, whether we live in big cities or small cities or near farms or not near farms, correct? Yes, absolutely. And so, um, so that's a definite thing that the Eat Well Guide is for. And also on the Weston Price website, there is a, um, there's a link called Chapter Leaders. And you can find a Western Price chapter leader near you, pretty much anywhere in the country, who might be able to help you find farms near you, CSAs near you, raw milk if you if you want it. So, um, and that's again WestonAPrice.org. Okay. And are there links to all those kinds, all those sites on your site? Is there like a place somebody can go for all those resources? Yep, absolutely. On FarmAgainMovie.com, under what what you can do and resources, you will find everything that I mentioned. So. Wonderful. Well, I really appreciate you taking a few minutes to talk to me. I'm hoping that, you know, this opportunity for people to hear kind of straight from the source and really see that this is this is everyday moms and and people that are just wanting to have a better, you know, better food and, and better quality of produce and everything for their families and to be able to, to get stuff directly from the source. And so hopefully this this will be a nice way for readers to to interact with this and really learn more firsthand. I hope so. Thank you so much. And if anybody wants to get in touch with me, my email is Kristen at farmageddonmovie.com. So we'll make sure that our readers know that if they have questions, there are people out there that are very happy to be available to answer them and help, help educate on this information. Do our best anyway. So thank you so much.